One of the great parts of my job is travelling to places I've never seen before. Denmark is only 50 kilometres from Albany, but so many people drive straight past it. The first time I laid eyes on Flat Rock, I was glad Harry made me turn left off the highway. Well, what sort of fishing spots this in Denmark, right in front of the local fishing club. They call this Flat Rock. It's actually a bit slopey, but Harry, I reckon if you can catch something here, mate. Mate, uh, yes, I even think I can catch something. The amount of stick you've been giving me today. <laughs> he hasn't I've caught catch very something. much all day. <laughs> this is the spot. There's herring here, there's tarwine, there's skippy. Very simple rig too. I've got a whole lot of running bean sinkers here. I've started with three because it's a bit swelly. I can add them or remove them. Stopped with a little swivel down to a long shank whiting hook for the whiting on the bottom and then a dropper loop with my wide gap hook. You can see it's swinging around in there. And that's for the skippy and the tar one on a dropper just above the sand. And I'll tell you what, mate, let's have a fish, see if we can't pull some. All right. The key to fishing off rocks is burley, so I put Harry in charge of throwing burley pellets in front of where we were fishing. Now here's a little something for you to consider. I'm actually using fire line, this braided line. It's low stretch, and that means I can feel all the bites, and you can probably hear the wind hitting my microphone. And the bait, pieces of muley, just chopped up into little strips and put through your hook. Make sure the point's always pushed out so the fish can get it through them, like that. One on the top, the other one on the bottom. How easy is that? Now, a lot of people I watch fishing for the first time struggle with their casting. It's quite simple if you do a few little things that are quite easy. The first thing is hold the rod up like that and take your finger up like a trigger with the bail arm roller nice and close to the top of the rod, just like that. And then you open it up and you can see then your bait can't fall down. Then we go back, keep the rod nice and straight behind your shoulder and then just flick like that. You don't have to throw it hard and release it about there. Simple as that. Oh, there's a the first fish for the day. Oh, and actually, Harry, it's not too bad, you know. Is that? Giving a little bit of a right, performance a here. Bit. Yeah. He said. I think it's a herring. Oh, herring. Oh, this is going to be good. Herring in. Oh, no. It's just. It's oh, just no, completely it. by the way. <laughs> here we oh, go. There he goes. <laughs> we might well, just... Leona, you lost it, mate. Oh, that could have been... That's all right. I got myself back, though. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Well, I think I've got something here, mate. I don't know. It could be... Oh, be tough. This is look like... Oh, would you like the oh. net? Hang on. i got a flying yeah. gap. I'll just land that's it for you. That's the case of the day so far, mate. Oh, have a look at this. <laughs> have a look. Now, I knew there was some whiting here, but I didn't expect they were going to be that big. That is just awesome. Look at that. I mean, seriously, dude, another 400 of them, another and you can eat tonight. <laughs> yeah, might just have a feed. <laughs> a lot of people ask me what the best part of the muley to use is when you're using it for bait. Now, I like the little tail section. And you can see I've trimmed the tail off with a pair of scissors, which are handy to keep with you. And we just thread it through like that. It's a nice fleshy piece, and the herring will love that. Oh yes, there you go. There's a fish straight away. In that clean water, that's where you want to be. I really think this is a herring. It is too. He's got some friends following, so there's going to be plenty down there. Now, can I get it up without going in? I'm stopping at the dry water mark, and here it comes. Ah, ah, ah. That was a Denmark herring. I'm sure I'll get one up in a minute for you to see, but it's just not going at all well. Now there's no trick to this. You can do it too if you follow some simple instructions. That surge around there is going to be washing a lot of bait and a lot of burley that the fish are going to eat off the rocks. That's going to surge back out into the clean water. That's where the herring are going to be. So all we do is we cast out into the wind, which is getting up a bit, right out into that clean water and just let it sink. Be ready. Get down nice and low. Keep your finger on the line. Feel the bites. Keep it moving a little bit. And there you go. See? straight away. It's really not that hard. The hard bit is actually getting them up the rocks. Now don't go past this black stuff here. Anything wet should be avoided. Oh, this one's in the weed too, so don't make it too easy for me, Herring. 
All right, success, finally. There you go, that's a herring. And they're great eating fish too, herring. You have to love them. Really spiky. You can see he's grabbed that hook in the corner. It's a long shank, comes right out. And there you go, south coast herring. Such a pretty little fish, but uh, he's a bit small, we'll chuck him back. Well, Steve, it looks like Harry, I'm on my Harry. first one here, mate. Well done, oh, mate. Yes. Hey, Herring, see? Oh, see, even I can do it. Follow instructions, it's as simple as that. Happens. Even Harry can do it. Now, while he runs the fishing WA office very well, he doesn't fish all that well usually, but today, well. <laughs> beautiful herring, mate. Well done. I love the way they take that. That's a nice one. Oh, he's tangled that rig up. What a mess. Easy way to take herring off. You can touch them, it's no problem if you haven't done it before. Get them just like that. See how I've got him around the gills? Hook comes straight out. You've got my line and everything. That's easy, see? No problem. I'll pop them straight back. <laughs> 